in this video we're going to be covering another SQL question this is question number 184 department highest salary so we are creating two tables the employee table has ID in it name in it salary and department ID in it whereas the department has ID and name in it name is the only thing which is uh, name is the field which is present in both of the tables so if we want to use the name we need to specifically tell which table we are talking about so basically in this case because uh, these three people are in the from the same department so we need to compare this this and this salary these two people are in the uh, same department so we need to com compare this and this uh, salary what they are asking for as I said provided this employee and the department table return the let's just see how they say it. find the employees who have the highest salary in each of the department and you can return in any order we are looking for the employees from a party you know, this is, shouldn't be there. Oh, Jim and Max both has the same salary in the IT department. So they're gonna both be able to make make up to the result uh, because the same have. If one has less than the other one, only the highest would have been shown. So both Max and Jim will have will be in the result. So again, what we are looking for is to group if we group them by the department IDs right if we group them by the department ID we can actually see what who, who is the uh, like we can actually check the max just by using the max function and there we can see who is the max in that department com uh, for the compared to the salary once we have that result all we have to do is to put them uh, join it uh, with the department so that we can actually get it get the department's name that's all we are doing here we are selecting from employees table we are selecting the department ID and also grouping it by the department ID and the maximum salary right from the employees so we are once we have uh, the maximum salary of this person this person from department 1 and this person uh, from department 2 all we need to do is to join it over here so that we can get uh, the names of the department so we are selecting the department name employee name salary uh, after joining which is the default join in the in, in SQL is or my SQL is uh, inner join so basically there is no left join going on just the inner join whoever has a matching uh, for uh, foreign key in the department ID uh, that will will make to the result okay we are joining it with the department on employee dot department ID is equal to department ID and where this is in the salary where the employee department and salary are in here so basically this is saying that whatever you have selected from here uh, we're gonna be getting it where this uh, is in this one so department ID this one is gonna it's gonna point to here and the salary is gonna point to the maximum salary and that's what we're gonna be returning uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching.